Hello everybody, today we're going to be learning about the main method together. Haven't made a video on this yet. But first, my name is Alex. I make a Java tutorial on this channel every single week. So if you're new here and you might be interested in seeing that, then please consider subscribing. Let's start learning about the main method by making a new Java project. Call it our main project. Hit finish and then inside of the source folder, go to new class. I'll we'll just call it main. And then click this public stack void main checkbox and let's get started. So we hear this all the time, the main method, the main method. When you run code, you run code inside the main method. That's how Java intended things to be. If we run this, we see nothing prints out because nothing is in the main method besides this comment, which doesn't do anything. A method has this structure and runs code inside of its curly braces. So to make a regular method would be something like this. Say hi with things in the curly braces. It's complaining because we need to have a return type. If we don't want to return anything, we're just going to type void here. And all a method does is run code inside of the curly braces. In this case, this method is just going to say hi. If we run this, we don't see anything happen because there's still nothing in the main method. So the main method lets us control the code we want to run. So if we wanted to use the say hi method when we click run, we just have to call it inside the main method. Boom. It's arguing that we need to make like this main object and then use it that way. But we can get around that by typing static here save and run, we see hi. Because when we click run, we run code in the curly braces, we see a method called say hi. This class knows a method say hi because it's right here. And we run code inside of these curly braces and print hi, which is why we have hi here. This is really basic stuff, but it's really important to just nail this. If you take a step back, you start to realize, well, these keywords here, static void, are the same keywords up here, static void. So now this whole line of what looks like nonsense is kind of starting to make sense. It's just like any other method. We could also have public here, which just means that if you make a main object from this class and do a dot, then this method would pop up. Not main because the main method is special. Now let's go on to these parentheses. Well, why is there this string square brackets args in here? What is that supposed to do? If we have arguments in a regular method like this, we could say, say something, thing, and then pass in a string s. And instead of printing hi, we can print s and say like, hey, this is no longer called say hi, so we have to change it. Say we run this, it'll print hey. So we know how a regular method uses parameters that we pass in the code. You call the method, you pass in this parameter, which runs code inside of here. Since this is the parameter, this is now s. So we print out s, which is hey. So how does that apply to this string square brackets args. Well, this looks like an array. String square brackets is an array of strings. So let's see how would we how we would use an array of strings here in a regular method. We could make a string array like this. String array s equals, and then throw some strings in here. Hey, sup and then pass that as the parameter. So now this s, which is a string array, matches this s, which is also a string array. So if we run this, it spits out gibberish because that's what we expect. A string array will spit out gibberish if you just print it. So we can just get like one element of it and it works. So how do we use this args? Well, args is the arguments when you run the Java program. So let's destroy all this and get that in your head right now. 
Let's print out that variable. args. There's no red underline because args is the variable in the parameter, so this method knows what args is. Let's run it, and you see some gibberish, which is the memory. How do you set the arguments? Well, you can do it from the command line or from your editor. We're in Eclipse, so to do it in here, we would go to Run Configurations and we click our main class, which is the one that we're using, Arguments tab, and then pass in the arguments here. Let's say we have, hey, sup, just like before, just separated by spaces. Apply, run, and you see more gibberish because, again, this is an array of strings. So we need to get an element from it. Save and run. And now we get sup because when we run this, it passes in these two string parameters. Well, this one array of strings, it passes it into the main method and runs code with that variable, just like we had before. We can do the first one like this and we get both. So args is short for arguments. They can help you change the configuration of the code based on what you pass in. So if I do run with the parameter four, maybe that'll change what happens when we run it. For example, if args of zero equals, oops, if args of zero, since it's a string, we gotta do dot equals, hey, then do this, blah, blah, blah. Otherwise, if it's equal to hi, we can do something different. And I think you see where all the configuration can come in. It's kind of like a little code that changes the running to your liking. We can also do this from the command line, for example. So I'm just going to make a new Java file. Boom. I'm just going to save this on my desktop. Desktop called main.java. So now I've got this little Java file on the desktop. I'm going to open terminal. And then we're going to navigate to the Java file. Our current directory is on. We are not on the desktop, so we'll change directory cd to the desktop. And we see main.java. We first have to compile it. So we do java c main.java. This turns it into machine code. And now we can just do java main. Boom, and that runs it. Except we get an error because we're trying to use the elements in that string array, args but we haven't passed in the arguments here. So to do it in command line, you would pass it in just right here on the command line. Hey, sup, enter. Hey, sup. These are the arguments we passed in, which stores into the args string array, and then we print out those two. So all it is, is all this, the string arguments array is, it's just a parameter that you can use inside the method, just like parameters inside of any other method. This confused me for a long time and I didn't know how to use it until like the third year of college. But yeah, that's basically it to the main method. It just runs the code inside the main method. When you hit run, you can configure it using the args and that's really all there is to it. Public, it can be seen. Static, you don't have to make an object to call the main method. Void, it doesn't return anything and main is the name we give it so that Java knows that it's the main method. So I hope this helped you out a little. Let me know if you learned something down below and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.